So I first became aware that maybe you were interested in me when several of my teammates on the soccer team noticed that most of your pictures were only of me. And you're very encouraging of me on the sidelines. Because you are star players. <laughs> <laughs> And from there, I found out that uh, you had told them you thought I was very beautiful and... Mm -hmm. You are, I can dream a lot of things about our life. I feel so right to be with her. I don't think I can live without her. Um, my favorite thing about Johannes, I think, his humbleness and patience with me and with others, and his kindness towards everyone. Right. Right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So Johannes here is um, his family is originally from Ethiopia and I have not yet been there myself. We have two different cultures bringing it together and it just it'll be so much interesting. Kind of what Canada does is bringing together a lot of cultures and yeah the pieces have just felt fit quite a bit better actually than if I would have been marrying a Canadian man. I was trying to propose for a long time and I talked to her parents first and they are very happy about it. It's in the Rocky Mountains. Rocky Mountain, yeah. Got the ring and it's kind of a traditional way, I just put it in a special basket. An Ethiopian, Ethiopian gift basket. Yeah. Then when she, about, when she opened it, I was like kneeling down to ask her if she can marry me. Then she said, yes! <laughs> yeah. Quite that few moments, yeah. I was very surprised. I wasn't expecting it at all.
when people look at us, they feel good about people get along and move the culture and still comfortable be together. So. Yeah, it shows that things are shifting in what's now appropriate in our yeah. culture, and we feel very blessed. I don't know that we, you know, 50 years ago, it's not, yeah. it yeah. wouldn't have been common for sure, and yeah. it would have brought a lot of struggle. And nowadays, we're very free to True. be marrying each other, even if we are from different cultures.